Turning to the mayor's race, and Lori Lightfoot picked up endorsements from a major union and a former mayoral candidate, while Tony Preckwinkle showed solidarity with striking workers. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is tracking the candidates. Lori Lightfoot donned a hard hat as she accepted support from Chicago's 20,000 union laborers. We're supporting Lori Lightfoot because she supports workers and the middle class. And Lightfoot acknowledged she's feeling momentum. I do think we have momentum, but I take nothing for granted. We've got to keep focus every single moment for the next 20 days. An additional Lightfoot endorsement came today from former mayoral candidate Gary Chico, joining former candidates Paul Vallis and Willie Wilson in backing Lightfoot. We've got to build hope and innovation all over the city, and I'm proud of the endorsements that we have received. And not surprisingly, money has followed that momentum. During the first round of the mayoral race, Tony Preckwinkle far outraised Lightfoot. But since March 8th, the roles have reversed. Lightfoot has raised $676,000, including $100,000 from sources linked to the Wirtz family, owners of the Blackhawks, another $100,000 from financier John Canning, and $50,000 from Craig Duchessois, part of the family that owns Arlington Racetrack. By contrast, Preckwinkle has raised $329,000, with labor unions the biggest contributors at $135,000. I'm chairman of the negotiating committee of the Congress of New York for Musicians. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Preckwinkle today joined striking Chicago Symphony musicians on their Michigan Avenue picket line, downplaying the significance of Gary Chico's Lightfoot endorsement. My view is you've got to meet the voters where they are and talk to them about their concerns and share your vision. That's what we're trying to do. I think that's what really matters. So what's the state of the race with 19 days to go? There is one small new snapshot from the Northside Second Ward. A poll done for Alderman Brian Hopkins shows Lightfoot at 68 percent, Preckwinkle at 20 percent. Just one ward, but those margins also track two earlier citywide polls. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. Yeah, certainly an interesting race. Thank you, Derek.